All right, guys, we're going to get going. We're going to do vault P-bars and high bar today and Friday strength. We might take it easy on Friday strength because this is our last day of our deloading week. So we may just teach you guys the strength that we need to do for next week and the next six weeks. Um, so that's the plan for the day. We are going to start with Boone. I hope that everybody has a good workout. And uh, nice to see everybody. Let's get it, Boone. Back with the first one. Rolls. First finger, pull down. Second finger. Third finger. First finger on the other hand. Kick walks with your feet flexed.
take down your knee. Start running.
Okay, one arm on top of the other, stretch your lats in a hollow. Switch arms, hollow, stretch your lats. Elbows. Hips. And knees. Spider-Man's. Right hand, left foot. Right hand, right foot. Elbows in the middle. Legs as wide as you can. Left hand, left foot. Go left hand up and over your shoulder, like uh, do, do one more split like that, but like with your arms up. Yeah, there you go. Go into an arch. I'm 
sides, going to pile up. Going to an arch. <clears throat> Spread your shoulders. Push up to a bridge. Stretch your shoulders again. Push up into a bridge. One more time. Push up a new bridge. Kick while lifting your arms forward. Isaac, let's get going. Point your foot at the Push up shape, right leg split, hold. One, 1,000. Shoulders tight, two, 1,000. Three, 1,000, face the middle. Hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. On your bum, feet closer together, arms parallel. Hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Up and over, on your belly. Push up shape, left leg split, hold. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide your foot around. Push up to a bridge, hold. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide all the way down. Arms up and around, stretch your shoulders, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, slide your hands across the ground, reach past your feet, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, up nice and tall. Push up shape, left leg split, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, slide your right leg forward. Push up to a bridge, hold, one 1,000, look at your hands, two 1,000, three 1,000, slide all the way down, hands up and around. Hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, slide your hands past your feet. Keep your back nice and straight, look at your toes, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, up nice and tall. All right, let's go one more. Kick while lifting your arms forward. Go to a Swedish fall. Point your leg at the ceiling. And push-up shape. And right leg split. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Face the middle. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide your feet together. Pancake hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Up and over on your belly. Push-up shape. Left leg split, hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, right leg comes around. Push up to your bridge, hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, 
Slide all the way down, hands come up and around. Stretch your shoulders, hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide your hands past your feet, hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Sit up nice and tall. All right, let's do fake handstands. Habibi. All right, so we're gonna go 30 seconds and then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds afterwards uh, by doing those like on your back, push your back into the grounds. You can start now, push and hunch in your shoulders. I want you to look right between your hands, spread your fingers wide, push and hunch. We gotta get stronger with these muscles here so that you can do it for a long period of time. We got 20 seconds to go. Try to get those shoulder blades all the way around the side. That's better, Abdurrahim. I like that way better. All right, push your fingers one, and then two, and push them again three, push again four, not into your ground. I just want you to pulse your fingers into the ground like Chris talked about, using your fingers to hold on your back, on your back. All right, I want you to get your, your hips into the ground, get your lower back into the ground by using those hips and keep those arms in a nice beautiful hollow shape. This is enough right here. I think this is a really beautiful shape here. Uh, Isaac, you gotta get your arms above your head. Conrad, you gotta get your shoulders off the ground. Uh, Aiden, you gotta get your shoulders off the ground. Boone, gotta get more hollow for sure. All right, three, two, one, fake handstand, go. Push and hunch. That's it, push, 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 push. Get those shoulder blades to the side of your body. Isaac, let's go, homie. 20 seconds to go. All right, pulse your fingers in. So you're going to push once and then push twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On your back. Good hollow shape. I don't want to see your ears. I don't want your shoulders touching the ground. You could get your arms a little bit above your head more, Abdur Rahim. It's a little bit too piked. I mean, uh, too broken shoulder angle, that's better. If you want, you can lift your feet up. This is good, Abdurrahim. All right, 13 seconds, 10. Uh, Isaac, great shape. I can't really see Blake at all because your camera's not going. Kennedy, I think your shoulders are off the ground a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. And uh, fake handstand one more time. Get those shoulder blades around the side of your body. Push through the ground. I want your shoulders just about above the middle of your hands. So you should have a little bit of a shoulder angle. If you want to straighten your legs, you can do it in a plank position. All right, let's go on to your back. Hold, last 30 seconds, then we're gonna do seven in your shoulders. seconds to go got to get better at doing handstands everybody okay let's go on your shoulders uh, on your belly we'll do your shoulders we're gonna go seven today shoulders hands hands one shoulders hands hands two Shoulders, hands, hands, three. Shoulders, hands, hands, four. Shoulders, hands, hands, five. Shoulders, hands, hands, six. Shoulders, hands, hands, seven. Shoulders, hands, hands, one. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, up and hold. Five, uh, seven forward. Seven backwards. Arms bent above your head. Straighten, bend, one. Straighten, bend, two. Straighten, bend, three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Butterflies. Arms below your waist. Shoulders, hands, 
hands, shoulders, shoulders, hands, hands, two, shoulders, hands, hands, three, shoulders, hands, hands, four, shoulders, hands, hands, five, shoulders, hands, hands, six, shoulders, hands, hands, seven, quickly, shoulders, hands, hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up and hold, seven forward, seven backward, arms bent above your head, straighten, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, arms butterfly. Arms in a high V, shoulders, hands, hands, one, shoulders, hands, hands, two, shoulders, hands, hands, three, shoulders, hands, hands, four, shoulders, hands, hands, five, shoulders, hands, hands, six, shoulders, hands, hands, seven, quickly, shoulders, hands, hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and butterflies. So we're gonna do second half vault P-bars and high bar today. The, fir the first vault exercise is up. It's gonna be our sprints against the wall for 15 seconds. All right, finish all your arms, bend and straighten butterflies and then we can get ready to go. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds or so to regroup, and then we're gonna go 15 seconds of wall sprints with 45 seconds rest. Actually, this is not wall sprints. This is just regular sprints with your knees up. You don't have to do it on the wall. All right, let's go with Boone. Ready when you are. Ready, set, go. Knees up, sprint. Knees up, sprint, best as you can. Knees up, sprint, faster, faster, faster. But make sure your knees are up every time. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Let's go, palm up, pull down, stretch. Switch hands. Pinky up stretch. Other hand. Palm up, pull down stretch. Switch hands. You got five seconds to get ready for your next sprint. Five. Four, three, two, one, go. Come on, knees up, stay on the fronts of your feet. Don't let your heels touch. Keep your arms moving. Got eight seconds. Everything you got, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Three, two, one. One arm on top of the other, stretch. Switch arms. Single finger pull down stretch, left hand. Instead of doing single finger, do your whole hand. Switch hands. You got seven seconds to prepare for your last sprint. Three, two, one, go. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Everything going, everything going. Knees up, arms moving. Three, two, one, 
The next exercise is up. The level fives are gonna be doing handstand, fall to bridge and lower down. The level sixes are gonna go handstand block to handstand from the floor onto something higher. The level sevens are gonna go headstand to handstand and lower to bridge like you're gonna do a handspring um, front pike with a half. I also like how Aiden was going handstand, go to bridge and stand up and then looking at the ground. I believe he did that last time pretty well. We're gonna go for three minutes and I'll give you guys 30 seconds in between so that you can regroup and see what the exercises are. And we're gonna go as many of the vault and high bar exercises as we can get. There you go, Abdurrahim, nice work, man. All right, so the older guys are working on headstand to handstand and then lower to bridge. And then if you can stand up afterwards, then that would be beneficial. Isaac, you're working on handstand blocks. Handstand blocking onto something. Um, I think that Boone is doing pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. Try to make the surface higher and higher and higher and you're replicating a block. That's it, I mean, Boone was, ha I mean, uh, Yin was having us do the very same things. Isaac, if you can go block up onto a pillow or something like that, I think that's helpful. You have that brown pillow on the couch there. And go. Give you a, a goal to try to rise up off the ground. All right, let's see what Kennedy's doing. Push and heel drive at the same time. Push, heel drive, nice. Oh, Kennedy, that is so fabulous. Oh, that was so fun to watch, dude. Right, legit. You're awesome. That was awesome. Now, Kennedy, you can do a Barani, a front tuck with a half twist on floor, right? Imagine if you do this, right? Do the same thing that you did and stand up on your feet. So you're running down, you hit the vault, you push really hard off of your hands so you block. You get into your pike shape onto the horse like you're supposed to. Do your pike handstand and then push to bridge. So you hit the horse, do your, the same thing that you just did, the pike head stand, push to bridge, same thing. And then you stand up just like you did. And now you're above the vault, right here, you're above the vault and you just look at the ground and do a barani. Right, that's pretty much the whole entire vault. I think that you should do that so easily. That's it, Conrad, same thing with you, man. You drive your heels and then your heels are gonna stop and then you're gonna sit up just like the Tikachev. You drive your shoulders and your toes are gonna stop. Then as you come through the bottom, your shoulders stop and your feet move. But here is the same thing. Right now you're gonna drive your heels, eventually they're gonna stop. And like Kip was saying, as your feet stop, your shoulders sit up and then a double front from there or a front with a half from there. Right, so I want you to develop really good blocking strength with your arms and a good heel drive with your body. And that's pretty much what this exercise is for. All right, we got 13 seconds. The next exercise is up and we're doing our, our uh, wall marches. So I'll start with Conrad. We've done it for the last couple of weeks. So I just wanted to be very careful. What we're trying to do right here is work on two things. Number one, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remind you how to run. I want everybody to do the same exercise here. Even though it says the sixes can do starfish cartwheels, I want you guys to do this. Inyaki, is the exercise, por favor. Inyaki, mira Conrad, por favor. A la pared. Okay, so Conrad, you're going to put your hands against the wall. You're going to get your feet a little bit further back so that you're leaning forward a little bit. That's it. You're going to start on one foot with your knee up. Good foot flex. Now sag that back leg. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Fix your front knee. Fix your posture. Bend your back knee. Now jump and land on your, the ball of your foot. Now this is how I want you to run. I don't want your heels to touch the ground when you run. I want your bottom leg totally straight, as extended and as long as it can be. I want your front knee to be bent, as far bent as it can. 
All right, now you're gonna sag your back leg down, stretch your calf, stretch the back of your leg, fix your front leg, and then bend the back knee, stretch your soleus now, and jump and switch onto the ball of your foot, let your back leg sag, think, fix your front leg, bend your back knee, jump and switch, sag, fix, bend, jump and switch, sag, fix, bend, jump and switch, sag, fix, bend, jump and switch, sag, fix everything, bend, jump and switch, Abdurrahim, Kennedy, I would move your feet further back, sag, fix, and bend, jump and switch, Kennedy, good, look at the, look at the wall in front of you, sag, fix, bend, jump and switch, sag, Fix and bend. Jump and switch. Sag. Fix everything and bend your back knee. Jump and switch. Isaac, excellent work. Sag. Fix. Bend your back knee. Jump and switch. Sag. Fix everything and bend, jump and switch, sag, switch, bend, jump and switch, sag, fix it, and bend, jump and switch, sag and stretch, fix your front leg, bend your back knee. One more time, jump, switch, sag, fix, and bend. Good job. All right, now we got our 15 second wall sprints just like that. We're gonna start in 25 seconds. I'll give you a little bit of a rest. Make sure you get a drink of water. I don't know if it's hot where you're at. Same thing, we're gonna do 15 seconds on and 45 seconds off. During the 45 seconds, I want to stretch our shoulders and our biceps against the wall. Conrad, we're going in three seconds. Two, one, and go. Everything up. I want you to stay on the fronts of your feet. Fronts of your feet, lift your knees up. Only 10 seconds to go now. Looking at the front of the wall. Get up on those feet. Legs straight at the back. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's stretch your biceps. So you're gonna put your hand against the wall, open your palm up, look away from your hand, and you can move your arm further up or down the wall. It'll stretch different areas of the muscle. But you wanna hold each stretch for about 10 seconds or so. 10 or 15 seconds is good. If it doesn't stretch your bicep, move your body around so it stretches your bicep. Switch arms. We have 15 seconds to go. Switch arms, my dog. All right, three, two, one. 15 second wall sprint, get it. Come on, Conrad. Come on, Conrad. Jack's not on today, so today's the day to get better than Jack. Come on, lift those knees, lift those knees, lift those knees, three, two, one, stretch your biceps again, one more time, sit, switch arms, twenty seconds to go, and then one more wall sprint. Ten seconds, Conrad. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, get it. 
Come on now. Come on, Conrad. Lift those knees. Stay on the fronts of your feet. Lift your shoulders up nice and tall. Don't want to lean forward as you're running. That's it. This is good. Three, two, one. Good. Walk it out a little bit. Excellent work, Conrad. And we're pretty much done with vault today. All right. Mostly focusing on running. I want you to go get a ball so you can work on your toe point. You're going to have your golf ball or I think Conrad usually uses a uh, bottle of water or something like that. All right, Inyaki. Inyaki, quiero que consigas una pelota y trabajes en tu punta con tus dedos. Sí. Sí. Nice job, guys. Inyaki, quiero um, que toques tus talones y tus dedos gordos juntos. Muy bien. Muy bien. Todo lo tiempo. Two, two minutes longer. Try to squeeze those toes. That's it, Boone. Try to get those toes together. Point those feet so you're not spilling water. Inyaki, quiero que puedas equilibrar un vaso de agua en la parte superior de tu pies. All right, I think Aiden, you can point those toes down harder. All right, I think you're spilling water towards your shins. I think that's better. The only way to get better at toe point is to understand how important it is towards your scores. It's everything. It's like if you expect to dribble well and you expect to be able to dribble behind your back and you expect to be able to pass the ball in basketball, but if you can't get the ball in the bucket, you know, you're just not going to be able to get points. So if you learn how to keep form and keep your knees tight, you're going to start passing people this year. Your, st your, your scores are going to go up and up and up. Probably save yourself two or three points in the all-around by just keeping good form. 30 seconds to go. Point those toes as hard as you can. For the next th uh, two minutes, you're going to stand on the ball and roll out the bottom of your feet. You can start that now. Just roll the bottoms of your feet. You should roll out the bottom of your feet and do these exercises all the time. Inyaki, deberías trabajar en la punta del pie y extender la parte inferior de tu sensación muchas veces al día. All right. Usually that works and feels really good. So if it feels good, usually it's good for your body in terms of stretching. So keep rolling out. Debe hacer todos los ejercicios de flexibilidad de la muñeca 
y desplegarse muchas veces al día. About, about a minute and 30 seconds to go. Now, instead of just rolling out, what you can do is you can roll to a, a spot on your foot that might be sore and then push into it. Iñaki, si te, si te pones de pie, el peso de tu cuerpo te ayudará a empujar más tu pie. Okay, good job, everybody. Abdul Rahim, I think that's too big. I don't think that you're really, it's really going to benefit too much. You want to have something that's the size of a golf ball. I think probably a baseball is as big as you want to use to do your feet or a lacrosse ball, but something like um, a little bit smaller than a football, I think. 30 seconds to go, and then we'll go to high bar. All right, about 12 seconds. If you go to the screen, you'll see that the high bar exercises are up. The level fives are gonna do rock forward and a stretch to a handstand uh, on the mushroom like you're doing swing handstands. Boom, swing handstands on the P-bar blocks. All right, I want you to use equipment if you have it. The level sixes, swing handstands or swing handstands on the mushroom. Same thing as Boone was about to do, but if you have the opportunity to swing, let's do it. The level sevens, three hollow rocks to a rollover and then three stretch rocks to a rollover. The reason I want you to do this is because I don't know how to replicate swing half turns. So as you roll over, I want you to pretend you're holding on to the bar and you gotta keep those toes together, right? So I would take three and three and three and three always on your toes, Conrad. Roll over, keep tight. And use the same shapes that you're gonna need to do a swing half turn on high bar and a blind turn and pirouettes. That's it, Boone. Boone, you just keep working. Good swing handstands. Now, Boone, in the front there, you're piking a little bit. I want to see no shape in the front. Perfectly straight in the front. Okay? All right, let's see if I can get Inyaki to know what's going on. Inyaki, yo quiero que uses el onga y te inclines hacia adelante sobre tu vientre y te balances hacia una parada de manos con el hongo, el mushroom. Yeah? And you're rocking up off the mushroom to the handstand. Yes, yeah, see. Sí. Y al estómago y con los manos al suelo y parada de manos. Muy bien. Muy bien. 30 segundos más, por favor. Manteng, ma, mantenga su cuerpo y piernas rectas y apretadas. Quiero que haya una pequeña forma elástica en tu espalda hasta la cima. Yo quiero una pequeña arco en tu espalda hasta la 
cima. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. En la parte superior quiero que seas recto. No arco al, la, en la parte superior. Muy bien, muy bien. Muchas gracias, amigo. Arco y... No arco. Muy bien, muy bien. Very good, buddy. Very good, Inyaki. All right, the next exercise is going to be up. It's not that. It's high bar number, no idea. High bar number 11, I think. I think. Um, nine, 10, yeah, 11. All right, so the level fives, one second. Muy bien, Inyaki. The level fives are going pirouettes against the wall with your back straight. The level sixes, I really want you to do a pirouette against the wall, nice and straight. But I actually want you to work on with your, just one, one parallel with your hands in an under grip and then a pirouette. So I want your hands in an under grip, kick handstand pirouette. And I only want you to use one mushroom. I mean, one parallel, sorry. So one pirouette, use your arms super straight and kick an early pirouette. All right, so I want your palms to face away from you. I want your arms nice and straight. Quiero que tus palmas se alejen de ti. I want your palms to face away from you. And I want you to pirouette before you get to the handstand. Patear hacia la parada de manos y la pirueta antes de llegar a la parada de manos. I want you to try to finish your pirouette before you get to a handstand. And then if you finish your pirouette early enough, you should be able to do a handstand forward roll out. Si haces pirueta lo suficientemente temprano, deberías poder hacer una parada de manos hacia adelante después. All right, so you should be pirouetting early enough so that when you finish the handstand, you can do a forward roll. The secret is to push away as you pirouette. When you're on high bar, the natural tendency is to pull down on the bar so that you can get over the bar, but then that pulls your pirouette over the bar. El secreto es alejarte mientras haces piruetas. All right, el secreto es alejarte mientras Haces pirueta. All right. Con el izquierda mano, alejarte mientras al suelo. Antes de pirueta. Push. Yeah. Antes de tu pirueta, yo quiero empujar tus manos frente a tu cara. Con el izquierda mano. 
Okay, all right guys, let's go to the next exercise. Next exercise is up. Again, all of this stuff you should be using, if you can, a, a parallel if you have one to replicate, just hold it onto a high bar. The level fives are gonna do a backward roll off of the couch and stick shape. Now, Boone's doing it off of a mushroom. It's exactly what I'm looking for, just like that. You just roll back and land, not on your head, use your hands. Right, use your hands, always hands above your head. But I want you to replicate going over with form and then sticking your dismount. Going over with form, pointing your toes, keeping your body nice and tight, nice and tucked, and a smooth rollout. So Kennedy, it looked like you kind of like did an arch, put your hands on the ground and then rolled over. Try to keep it a smooth rollout if you can. Even though I really can't see the couch that you're using, so that might be an annoyance. All right, so the older boys are working on your Yamawaki pushes, right? So you're gonna do your, on your belly, push to a stretch, and then bounce to a hollow to your feet. So you're trying to replicate a vault catch or a Yamawaki. All right, Abdurrahim, you understand what I mean? You don't need to use a parallel Conrad, for this one. You're just doing a push-up shape. I'll remind you with uh, Aiden. All right, try to go all the way to a standing shape if you can, Aiden. Yaki, quiero que uses tus manos para que no te caigas de cabeza, pero trata de replicar un volteretazo hacia atrás en forma de palo. All right, I want you to use your hands so that you don't fall on your head, but try to replicate a backflip dismount to a stick shape. That's really what I want the level sixes to be doing right now. I want you to feel your toes together as you come up and over. I want you to try to keep your roll smooth. Trata de mantener los dedos de los pies juntos mientras subes. All right, todo lo tiempo, yo quiero los dedos de los pies juntos. Okay. This is really an exercise for your stomach strength and your toe point. Esta una ejercicio para el dedo del pie y la fuerza del estómago. All right, todo lo tiempo. Yo quiero los dedos juntos, por favor. All right, so the next exercise is going to be up for high bar. And I believe this is the last one for high bar. Uh, this is our Tkachev work. So I'll go to Boone, just because he's got a pretty good angle at this. You're gonna go into a push-up shape, and you're gonna bounce to a double leg cut. And then you're gonna do a bridge. And actually, I want you to slide down here, and now do a candlestick rock to endo roll. Push your hands down and go endo roll push-up shape. Just do an endo roll to a push-up shape. Then you have to get your feet to the front again, so double leg cut. Push to a bridge and slide down. Then candlestick, endo roll to push-up. Jump, double leg cut. Push to a bridge.
salta a un corte de doble pierna, empujar hacia una puente, deslizarse hacia abajo y luego un straddle roll a una forma de empujar hacia arriba. I want you to jump to a double leg cut, push to a bridge, slide down, and then a straddle roll to a push-up shape. I'd love to know what all my Spanish is actually saying, but I hope it says that. Salta a un corte de doble pierna, empujar hacia una puente, deslizarse hacia abajo, y luego un straddle roll a una forma de empujar hacia arriba. All right, and I think that these are all of the shapes that we're going to need in order to do a Tkachev. All right, learning how to rotate a little bit forward with your body and then kicking up and then getting your feet into the bridge. Yeah, I like how Boone did that better. And I, I think that this is actually how I want you to do it. He just did like a rollback to a bridge. And I like that a lot. Same thing with Inyaki Mwibien, a rollback to a bridge, then slide all the way down, then do your candlestick roll to an endo roll so your body learns how to like rotate forward in the straddle LC, catch the bar and push away. Well, I think that's a pretty good series of exercises. That should help replicate pretty much what a Tkachev is all about. Well, I think we're done with high bar, but we're pretty early, so I want to go to P-bars, and maybe we can do a little bit of P-bars. And then we'll finish up with our testing, our, our strength and conditioning for the day. So I may as well go and give Kennedy the second half of the exercises, because we only did the first half yesterday. So these are the, actually, I'll give, uh, here, I'll give you six through ten. Kennedy and then maybe what we can do is you can do any ones that you want and I'll go give you the other ones now the boys you can start on your parallel bars work right now so here's all of the exercises that we do for beam Kennedy and you can pick any ones that you want it's fine with me give you a little choice today so most of the p-bar exercises are going to be done on parallettes all right Inyaki Tú está haciendo una handstand con una pirueta, una parada de manos con una pirueta. The level eights, nines, and tens are going to be doing a Turkish getup. I think everybody knows how to do that at this stage of the game. And I'll give Inyaki a little bit more instruction. Inyaki, yo quiero que completes la pirueta y sostengas la parada de manos antes de girar. Yo quiero una parada de manos para tres segundos y ahora completes la pirueta. La pirueta después de el parada de manos. Nice job, Kennedy. Make sure I can't see those ears on the way up. And pretend you're on the beam, so get those hands close. Pushing, 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 all the way pushing, 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 all the way pushing. I like that one better. All right, also, I think that you drop your foot down at the bottom a little bit. So try to keep your, your, your front foot a little bit taller, a little bit longer, right here. There you go, unless you're not supposed to do that. Is that correct? Am I being correct or not? Sounds like pretty, pretty good. Hands close, keep those ears tucked in, those shoulders, ears tucked in, ears tucked in, big push, big push, hey, that was beautiful. Kennedy is doing great. Hands close, push, 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 and tall. Hey, Kennedy, those two looked really beautiful. Nice work, nice work. Muy bien, Inyaki, muy bien, Inyaki. Muy bien, amigo. Yo quiero las piernas juntos y apretado. Ahora, ahora. Juntos, juntos, juntos. Más bueno, más bueno.
tu parada de manos está más bueno con tu cuerpo está apretado, amigo. Muy bien. That's good and tight. That's it, Conrad. Make sure. Now, Conrad, one of the reasons why I like Turkish get-ups is because I think it replicates a series of eight to ten things in a row that you have to focus on, very similar to a routine. In a routine, you have to perform these certain elements in a row, and they have to be precise. And that's why I like the Turkish get-up. It gives you have to think about doing things precisely. Right? So I like this exercise a whole lot. Especially when we can't go into the gym and do routines. It gives you the opportunity to kind of think like you're doing a routine. In terms of precision, you got to finish one motion and then the next motion and then the next motion. All right, the next exercise is up for everybody. The level fives are going to do straddle LC. Oh, everybody's going to do the same thing. All right, everybody's going to do the same thing. This is the future star strength routine. Kennedy, you can switch to your next exercise, but I want everybody to do the same thing. If you don't have pirouettes, you don't have to do them on pirouettes, but you got to do these strengths. I'll wait for you to finish, Aiden, and then we got to get to this. Keep that arm straight as long as you can, Aiden. All right, yeah, we're moving on. We're going to go uh, an L seat hold. L seat hold. Three seconds. Two. One, press handstand, hold. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Lower down to a straddle LC. Leaning forward, Boone. Leaning forward. That's it, holding. Get those feet up. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Push to planche. Hold the best that you can. Three seconds is bonus, Boone. That's it, dude. Good job. Let's take a rest. And Yaki, move in. All right, let's go again. LC. Hold for three seconds. Press the handstand. Hold for three seconds. Aiden, good job, dude. Good job, Aiden. Low down to a straddle LC. And open to a plunge. Nice job, Boone. Take a rest. About a minute and 30 seconds to go. We'll probably do two more. Let's go L seat hold. Get those toes together, buddy. I would take one tenth on those toes fluttering. Hold one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Oh, oh, Kennedy, you got to get that toe on your knee, not behind your knee, dude. I saw that. Uh, that was better. I still think it was behind, though. And open up to that plan. You guys take a rest. Yeah, I think that was better. I want a little bit taller in releve, although I can't really tell if you are tall. I, that was better. Hey, -oh. and reaching up towards the ceiling, taller and taller and taller. Uh, I think you stepped out of that one too early. Come on, knees on your toes, knee, knees and toes. I, I thought your toe was behind your knee on that one. I would have taken a deduction. Uh, I like that one. So that's one stick in a row. Ah, good job, though. All right, Boone, let's go one more time. I like that one too, Kennedy. L seat hold. Your left toe is on top of your right. It's better now. Maybe your feet are dropping a little bit low. I think you're a little bit tired, though, so it's okay. Come on, a little shoulder angle. Look in between your hands. Push and hunch. Push and hunch. Like Chris says, lower and straddle. Push and hunch. Push and hunch. Push and hunch. Same thing. Push and hunch here. Come on, push and hunch. There you go, Boone. That's looking better. Good job, man. All right, next exercise for P-bars is going to be up. Everybody's going to work on handstand holds, level fives, handstand holds. Level sixes, you're going to be doing your mana holds on the mushroom. Sorry. Level fives are doing your handstand holds for 30 seconds on the wall. I mean, not on the wall. Level sixes are going to do mana holds on your mushroom. Sometimes, sometimes you guys use your pirouettes to do your mana holds, but I actually think it's sometimes better without using your pirouettes. 
And then the level 7s and 8s, 9s and 10s, you guys can work on your Healy Twirls. Alright, Inyaki, Mira por favor. Alright, Boone's going to show you a mana shape. Inyaki, coloque su espalda baja sobre el hongo y extienda la mano para que esté estable. Mantenga los brazos rectos y toque la nariz con las rodillas y luego estire el cuerpo sobre el hongo nuevamente. Okay, amigo. That's it. Now, Boone, we've been doing this for almost, you know, three months right now. So if you want to start leaning back and putting a little bit of weight back on those hands so that you start to get closer and closer to the mushroom, I mean, cl closer and closer to like holding yourself on, on the mana, that's helpful. Conrad, I want you to do that again, but I want you to do the quarter pirouette. I want you to do a quarter pirouette and then do the Healy twirl. So I don't want you to do the full Healy twirl. Quarter pirouette and then Healy. Yeah, that's way better. But don't bend your knees, Holmes, unless you're worried about banging your heels against the ground. Don't collapse your body. I want you to do the quarter pirouette, though. I like quarter pirouette and push away with your hand. Yeah, way better. Way better. The other thing, Conrad, you could do that facing the couch and land with your feet on the couch. Right? And then maybe that might be a little easier. You have to, might have to stand away from the couch a little bit. But do your quarter pirouette. Yes, right about there is good. Now do your quarter pirouette. Uh, I When I teach a, a Healy twirl, even in the gym, it's with a quarter pirouette. In the fig book, you can do a quarter pirouette and still get full credit for your D Healy twirl. So I just think it sets up the Healy twirl better. And not only that, if you're going to learn how to do... A peach to one bar to a Healy twirl down or a Makoots, yeah, that's better. Or a Makoots, you're always gonna do it from one bar anyway. So I usually teach my Healy twirls from that one bar hold. And I do not believe that if you do it from a one bar that you have to hold it on that one bar before you Healy twirl. So let's see one more and then we'll go to the next exercise. Pirouette, push away. I, I like that way better, Conrad. I think that's a better opportunity for you to learn that skill. The level fives are going to be working handstand, walk onto one pirouette, and then the ground like your dismount. The level sixes, I want you on your pirouettes and kick handstand, hold as long as possible. The level sevens, eights, nines, and tens, your feet are on the wall, and you're going to do a forward roll to V-seat like you're trying to replicate that back up rise front toss or a regular front toss. Inyaki, quiero que sostengas tu parada de manos el mayor tiempo posible. Quiero que el tiempo de espera de tu parada de manos que grabemos los miércoles mejore. No a la pared, amigo, no a la pared. Con los paralets. ¿Ya? Yeah? I want, quiero que el tiempo de espera... 
de tu parada de manos que grabemos los miércoles mejores. Si usas la pared, no aprenderás a equilibrar. All right, so for this one here, I just want you to use no wall, just a good kick handstand hold. And the goal is to try to make it so that your handstand hold time on Wednesdays improves. All right, the older boys, you guys are working on your forward roll to VC so that we can do your, and yeah, you don't need a wall or anything right now. If you just go push up shape, yeah, and then just forward roll VC, try to hold it up there. Even though usually we do it on the wall, I guess, I guess, Abdul Rahim, you could put your feet on that white post and put your hands in a push up shape. And I want you to make it so that your body is in a stretch and looking at the camera. There you go. And then snap forward, down, hands down quick. Step forward, hands down quick. Don't let those feet hit the ground though. All right, so we got about 30 seconds to go. We have two more parallel bar exercises. We may as well finish them. Then I'll show you what the strengths are for next Friday and we'll, we'll call it a day. Good stretch here. And then hands down quick, feet up. I think that was better. That was better. And we're gonna start to move on to your Diamadoff drills off of the pommel horse or off of your mushroom. And then the next exercise I believe is Stutz drills. And the reason I start with the Diamadoffs is because Lee Wolves starts teaching with the Diamadoff. And he thinks that if you can get all the way up to a handstand on that one arm by doing a Diamadoff, it'll make it much easier for you to be able to do a Stutz afterwards. So I want you to do your Diamadoff drills. And then Inyaki, mas bueno, mas bueno. And then I want Inyaki and the level sixes to do your straddle press handstands. Comience en una soporte de horquilla y empuje hacia una parada de manos. Pero comience en una soporte de horquilla. Stand. Empieza a pararte. Sí. 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 Pero también es bueno si te meses. No está importante. También es bueno si te meses. I told him I want him to start in a straddle stand, but if he rocks into it, I, it's also good. It's not a bad thing. That's good, Conrad. I like that a lot. That looked nice. Try to get those feet together as fast as you can. Try to go up and over with good tight form, looking at the bar, looking at the bar, looking at the bar, looking at your hand. That's it. Good job, homie. Good job, homie. Kennedy, who are you texting all this time? All right, what are you working on, dude? Let's see it. We've got an important conversation. You were, you were texting all during the future star flexibility routines today. 
That's why I picked you. That's why I was like, all right, let's see Kennedy. Get those hands closer, little one. Ooh, that was a good tight handstand, though, huh? Come on, push to the ceiling, just like Chris was saying. Push and hunch. Push and hunch. Push and hunch. Good save, dude. Good save. That's getting better for sure. Push and hunch. Push and hunch. Kennedy, great, great, great. All of these, they look so much stronger. Nice, dude. Push, push, push. Push and hunch. All right. I like the fact that you're not losing control of your back and falling over today. Right? Sometimes you fall over a little bit, but today it looks really strong. Good job, Kennedy. All right, so the older boys, you guys are going to move on to Stutz drills. Stutz kick handstand and then regular pirouette. Don't do your under pirouette on this one. Because if you do a stut handstand, afterwards you do a regular pirouette instead of that reverse pirouette, unless you want to do a reverse pirouette. Sorry, I'll put it on. Then the level sixes are going to go handstand holds with your back and your belly against the wall. Parado de manos a la pared. All right. Quiero que uses la pared para enderezar tu parada de manos. Hacer 10 segundos con la espalda contra la pared y 10 segundos con la barriga contra la pared. Por favor, amigo. Good job. Quiero que alguna parte de tu cuerpo toca la pared. All right. Alguna, alguna parte de tu cuerpo. Boom, what's good, buddy? Um, um can I do the fake handstands? Yes, yes, you can do fake handstands. It's a good idea. Thank you. I can't believe that that you have no wall after three months. Can't you take something like a piece of wood and put it against the wall? Okay, fine, fine. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, we got a minute and 14 seconds to go. I'm gonna start getting the strength and conditioning up so I can teach you what we got for next week on Fridays. So Fridays is an arms day and we're going to do a little bit different. I got to teach you what the exercises are. So the first exercise on Friday for now on, if I can go to Aiden, that's good, but maybe, maybe I can't. So he's not there. There we go. Aiden, can you give me a better camera angle at all or no? Do you just have to plug it in because of the battery? Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to go to Conrad and see if I can do it, only because he's got a better camera angle. Can you, you're going to go a single arm dumbbell row. Single arm dumbbell row. And you don't necessarily have to use weight today. I'm just going to show you what we're doing for next week. So the single arm dumbbell row, you're going to go to the wall. You're going to put your forehead on your forearm like this with one foot behind your back. And Yaki, amigo, por favor. Okay, Iñaki, estos, los, uh, estos son los ejercicios para la próxima semana. La próxima semana, 
cambian todos los ejercicios de fuerza y acondicionamiento. All right, so the first one is going to be your single arm dumbbell row. The next is going to be a bicep curl, like everybody knows how to do bicep curls. All right, so the next exercise you're going to have both, both arms are going to hold on to the weights and you're just going to do bicep curls like everybody knows how to do. All right, a bicep curl, good enough. You can do one hand at a time or you can do both arms, it doesn't really matter. All right, and the next exercise is going to be called a bird dog. So I want you to go lay down on your belly. Sorry, in a push-up shape, in a push-up shape. Yep, and now what you're gonna do is I want you to I want you to bend one knee and bend one elbow so that they touch. Bend one knee and one elbow so that they touch underneath. Yes. And hold it there. Hold it there. And now I want you to extend them back so that you're arched with your arm above your head. That's a bird dog. Bend your arm, touch your elbow and extend and hand down bend your arm touch your elbow and extend it's a bird dog okay so this is going to be your rest exercise so conrad you're going to go single arm dumbbell row against the wall and on monday we're going to be doing three sets of 15 of everything single arm dumbbell row here elbow up elbow up using your back making sure that your stance is stable then you're gonna go to bicep curls when you're done with these, three sets of 15. Okay, and now you're gonna do your bird dogs. Elbow and extend, touch your elbow and extend. Again, you don't wanna, you don't wanna shift you want to try to stay no shifting, no moving back and forth, elbow and extend, elbow and extend. Aiden, you're touching your elbow to your, your knee in between. So Conrad, do one more time. Can you face sideways, Conrad? So he's going to touch his elbow to his opposite knee and then extend. And then again, elbow and extend. A coda al regalo. Okay. So those are gonna be the first three. We're gonna do three sets of 15 of each of those this coming week. If you can do more than 15, Conrad, I'm gonna want you to increase weight. Abdul Rahim, Conrad and Aiden, you guys can start increasing weight a little bit. Kennedy, same thing with you. The next exercises are a kettlebell get up with press. So you're gonna do a full kettlebell get up and at the top, then press. Last time we did a half kettlebell get up, but this time everybody's gonna do a full kettlebell get up. So you're gonna lay down, you're gonna go same knee is bent that the arm that's holding the weight, you're gonna go up to your elbow, up to your hand, all the way open your belly, slide your knee underneath, bend your knee all the way up and then a press, arm bend and straighten, and then hand down, I mean knee down, hand down, open your belly, slide your foot all the way back down, then grab the weight with your other hand, switch your legs, hand, sorry, elbow, hand, open your belly, slide your leg, kneel down, all the way up, and press, and knee down, hand, open your belly, slide your leg, elbow, shoulder. Now rack the weight in front of you, rock it to the side to let go. Good job, Conrad. So that's the first exercise you're going to do. The number one is a, the next one is a dumbbell push to press. So it's going to be the same thing as I want you to get one dumbbell in each hand, get one weight in each hand. What happened? You're gonna put one, one dumbbell in each hand. All right, one dumbbell in each hand. Now, a dumbbell press, I want you to, I want you to bend your arms and rack the weights. Correct. Now, instead of just doing a dumbbell press, 
I want you to do like a mini squat and use your legs to push the weights up with your arms. So bend your knees and push, push the weight up, but not all the way like that. I don't want you to bend all the way down. I just want you to bend like two inches, bend two inches and then push and go. Yep, that's a dumbbell push to press and push to press and push to press. All right, so that's a dumbbell push to press. Nicely done. And then the last one that you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your back and do your tricep extensions again. Lay on your back and do your tricep extensions. Yes, like this. So next week we're gonna do three sets of 15 of each of these exercises. All right, just so you know, Abdul Rahim, a gallon of water is eight pounds. So a gallon of milk might be like a little bit more than eight pounds because it's a bit more dense than water. All right, so one more time through so that everybody remembers. The first one is gonna be your kettlebell get up with a press. Let's just do one arm so everybody remembers. Okay, you're gonna go up to your elbow up to your hand, open your belly, slide your leg to your knee, all the way up tall and do your press at the top and then down to your knee, down to your hand, open up your belly, down to your elbow, down to your shoulders, rack the weight and rock the weight. There you go. And then you're gonna do your dumbbell push to press. Dumbbell push to press. Watch out, kid working hard here. Watch out everybody and push to press, there you go, push to press. And then the last one is your tricep work. All right, we're gonna try to get, it has sand in it. All right, Abdurrahim, that's probably much heavier then, good job. And then you're gonna do your tricep extensions, okay, everybody? Over the next three weeks, you should notice that your muscles are starting to get bigger. And if you weigh yourself, you should notice that you're starting to put on maybe three pounds, four pounds of weight. Quiero que comas mucho arroz y pollo. Deberías notar que tus músculos comienzan a crecer en las próximas tres semanas, amigo. It takes about 10 weeks for your muscles to start to respond to strength and conditioning training, and it's been six weeks. I think over the next two to three weeks, you should start noticing you're starting to look bigger. If you don't have enough fuel in your body, it's gonna be very difficult for your muscles to start to grow. So I wanna make sure that you're eating a good amount of rice and chicken and drink a lot of water and make sure that you stay, uh, stay rested because when you work out, what happens is actually you break your muscles down and then when you sleep, your muscles build back up. So sleep is very important. Make sure you're not playing Fortnite until three in the morning. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Keep repping that six for six.